tired. <laughs> Listen, I get it, bro. I get it. Joe, baby. It's a long day for all of us, but let's see. Few six, no stranger. No stranger at all to tournaments, man. We've seen this Sheik definitely have some impressive performances in the past, so we'll see how he fares well against James here. Da -da -da -da. Nice. Yep, gets a follow up off of that. And we see very often with Sheik with the lingering Nair. That's something that you're going to have to look out for a lot in this setup, too. You try to land on top of two Link Shields, you're going to get hit with that up, the other shield. Dang, I'm mad. That I'm tired tag made me yawn. Oh, I'm, no. I'm not even tired. It's contagious. <laughs> <laughs> the jabs right now, the pressure right now from Fusix looking pretty solid right there. Goes all the way out with the bounce fish. Nobody home, however. That's two Link. It'd be very, very tricky, man. One of those characters that oh, just kind nice. of sneak in the lead and snake those stocks. You got to be careful. He's playing a little sneaky himself there, though. Was able to chase him down. Call out the fact that he was going to roll back instead at a disadvantage. Nice. Oh, just stared at the ball. All right. Still able to keep him by the ledge for now. All right. Nothing doing thus far. Nobody really pulling ahead. Very even. This first stock. Who is going to take it? The pressure right now from Q6 was looking pretty good, but James, the immediate responses. A little back and forth for the opening of this set. Can't quite line up that up air. Set gets that grab now. Sitting out that boomerang to try to cover a jump, but Fusix re-grabs that bomb. And again, landing Dang. on top of the shield, something you have to worry about when you know that you want to get these crosses with Nair more often with Sheik. Ooh, okay, there we go. Nice. If it isn't the up, he had a shield, it's definitely going to be that up smash as well, especially at kill percent. Agreed. Agreed. And now the true struggle begins. You Uphill climb for Fusix. Mm -hmm. Might be tired, bro, but you got to wake up. James clearly perked up with the right energy supplement before this match. Can't afford to be down as Sheik, too. Especially when Sheik has that issue on finalizing that stock. And at 147 now, James is running away. Nice patience that we see the dash attack, the back here. Yeah, James is definitely looking sensational. Nice, the great parry that up B. Just continuing to tack on all this damage. This Toon Link at 153, Vicky. Not, not traditional percentages for this character to be at, but Sheik, that old trope mm. of having trouble getting those KOs, really kind of proving to be true right now for Q6. He's got no answer for James. It's always been that issue here. Saw that that up by the ledge earlier on had missed with the needles. Can't get the back air. Keeps him off by the ledge at 177. How much longer as he makes it back? My goodness. Keeping him at bay. Goes for the dash attack. Nobody home. Oh, but the conversion wow. thanks to the boomerang returning. Going to open the door for that stock loss. And James up two whole stocks against U6, who finally finds a KO. With the back here. Although at the cost of an extra stock now. Play one into a piece. Music is trying to wait with the needles charged up. He was able to put in a little bit of extra damage. Gets a follow up from the fair into the grab combo. Oh, oh, no. oh no. Wow. Oh no. That was so big that he had to do that. Because playing, we are like we highlighted before, she having the issue on finalizing that stock. Being down that entire stock is so big for Fusix to recognize to go in and overcommit to get that footstool. Wow. I mean, come on. Fusix is on pack watch and then just immediately brings it all the way back up. One of the clutches footstools you'll see. Wow, and that could be what opens the door for him to bring this back and take this game number one. Jabe seeming a little flustered right now, trying to get the composure back, the control as well. We may have to give Fusix that mess. We may have to see by the end of this first game, E.E. -E. Good grief. You might be right about that, Vicky. Going down to the wire right now between these two. All the patience, though, jumping away. Oh, Fusix is trying to bait. James to actually commit out of shield here, like we've seen earlier on the drag down from the up oh. He got it on the platform, oh. but he avoids it, dying out. I was trying to see a raindrop. Okay. Nice. All right, critical juncture right now as we approach the two minute mark. Somebody 
going to be facing defeat in this game number one. It would be tremendous if Music to bring this back, considering that footstool we saw earlier, which was so clutch. But James was in the lead for such a long portion of this game. It'd be a heartbreaker for him. Music just trying to go for the confirm. He had grabbed the needles, got it ready to go, grabbed that bomb. Doesn't get the diagonal needles into the bouncing fish. That's what the setup he was originally trying to go for here. Don't tell me this is going to go to time. Keep your eye on that clock. 130. I don't believe so, though. Gabe's also playing so patiently. He's feeling the pressure, though. Bomb in hand. The parry, but he sends out the bomb in the wrong direction. That could have been bomb into fair. Yeah, nobody wants to hard commit to anything right now because you just don't want to lose the stock, okay? This is so scary. Yeah, I mean, if I'm Fusix, I'm just chipping away right now, continually trying to keep Shaves at bay. Look at that timer. Look at that timer. And Fusix has been able to get a lot of that damage off of the needles. Less than a minute now left on the clock. It's run away at this point. Oof. Yep, just, yeah, exactly. <laughs> just go, just shoot out. Okay, there's no confirm there. I'm out. I'm out. I'm keeping my distance. I got the lead right now. I got to start for 45 more seconds. That's it. Oh, hold on now, Jay. Let's see you. Wait. Need to send out that side. Be a little stall quickly. This is where legends can be born, man. Clutching out a match like this would be everything. You know that their hearts are racing right now. 169, he needs to do some damage. Less than 20 seconds now on the clock. Dude, I didn't think it would go to timeout, but it really is. And right now, all Houston has to do is keep the distance for 10 more seconds. The Needles aiding in that, trading with the Boomerang, but I don't think it's going to matter. Oh, you got it. You got uh, it. Wait, uh, wait. Uh, wait! 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 Oh my god. Wait! Bro. Wait! Bro. No way! By a second! Bro. He's just laughing at himself. Are you kidding me? Bro. Are you kidding me? That's right, brother. Laugh to hide the pain. Laugh to hide the pain. You no way! I cannot believe that. Because as soon as it hit five, he descended and left. And I was like, no, no, no. You have to do that on like three seconds. Not because it's a long five count. It's not five, four, three. It's five. Four, like it's a long Five count. Mississippi, oh four Mississippi. God, you gotta count your Mississippis. Come on, bro. That whole last play was a miss. Well, the thing is, is that he had stalled a little bit too, right? We saw the bouncing fish. He did the needles a little bit in the air. Unbelievable, bro. I, I'm just almost speechless at that. No way. At that flub at the end, but all right. Hey, you know what they say, man. They say Brett screwed Brett in WWF. Well, guess what? Few six screwed few six. All right? That's on you. Are you kidding me? Look at this man's face, bro. There is nothing but sadness behind that exterior. Actual pain. Like, this, like that is the definition is, of pain. That is actual sadness behind those eyes right now. You have to reset, though. There is another game out here. Yes, you flubbed that first game. You know you could do it, though. You were able to make a crazy comeback after that footstool, and he is locked in, ready to go. But James definitely, after a very close situation right there, coming out on top, man. Well, if you're James, you got to make sure you keep his morale at an all-time low. Do not let him get that first stop. Do not let him get a lead. Don't give him any semblance of thinking he can win this set. That's how you keep somebody. When they're down, you got to keep them down. I mean, just, just in the game, not in real life. <laughs> you want to support your fellow man. Maybe real life after that one, I don't know. I'm trying to keep it real. <laughs> well, this looks like it could be a real problem right now for James. Oof. Not having that same fiery start in that first game. Looks like something woke up in Fusix. He said, you know what? The best way to avoid any timeout shenanigans is to not let it get to that point. Exactly. And he is not letting it go down that route right now. Look at it. He is locked in. Nice first stock out here for Fusix. We saw, though, at the beginning of that first game that Jave's doing a very good job. I flipped through the script, though. The grab from Fusix, the momentum completely swaying on his side. Where the hell was this guy in game one? <laughs> you kidding me? He is actually mad right now. He Feeling is, the heat. Yeah, seriously. I mean, he just was a part of an all-time clip. Ain't no way he's trying to let that be his legacy. I get you, bro. I'm still trying to get over the thick clip. They won't let it die. 
I do other things. Oh my goodness, and Fusik's doing some work right now, putting on all kinds of pressure. Ooh, are you getting EE? -E? You have to watch it. <laughs> they tried to catch his landing. The up air now from Jabes. Bouncing fish just to reposition from Fusix. Yeah, this is sensational right now. Loving what I'm seeing out of Fusix. The control right now and the confidence as well. Just whittling it down. Yeah, Jabes had an opportunity to really set the tone early, but Fusix not giving him any choice in the matter. Completely one-sided right now. Exactly, though, jumps into that boomerang originally, avoids the fair, side B. By the way, it could have been just a stall earlier, too. True. But <laughs> Nair, oh, nice. it's that grab, feeling that pressure. Good awareness from James to avoid the diagonal needles there, too. Something that he's been catching on by the end of that first game. Oh, wow. That was a nice little fake out. I like it. A lingering hitbox of that up air. So useful, so resourceful. Uh-oh. James finding some hits right now. Let's see. Trades with the up smash, but the fair going to catch him. Force that low recovery. Needles in hand right now for oh. Fusix. Oh, the get up attack just to be eaten up by the up B. Nice wait, though, from James. He wanted to see what Fusix was going to do originally, and Fusix just waited there. Oh, oh nicely done. You don't have to be snake to let that mm -hmm. thing detonate. Well done. Renee coming in handy there for Sheik. Oh, that's wow. huge. Yes. As soon as that clash, I was like, yes, that is a stock easy. James pulling it all the way back from perhaps certain defeat. Considering how things started, it is down to the wire right now. Final stocks mm -hmm. for this game number two. Fusix trying to hang in there, trying to stay alive. James trying to get this 2-0 victory. Nice little comeback that we've been seeing right now from Jabes. Oh. Not as scary of the clock. It is 30 minutes, 20 seconds now, and Fusix feeling the pressure, putting him by the ledge, keeping him here. Oh. All right, these hits definitely starting to add up, starting to accumulate. The wait. They're both waiting now. It's the reset in neutral. Oh, please. No more timeouts. Get in there. Scrap it up. Scrap it up. Pretty exciting, though. Not overcooked. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Z drop off of the bomb. He's able to make it back. Oh, this is scary territory. James has taken the lead. Few six. That hot start has cooled all the way down. Oh, man. He's calling out whether Few six is going to jump around him to cross him up on shield. Few six instead just playing so patiently, waiting in shield instead. Still needs to make sure he doesn't get too antsy. Catches right, him with right, the up air. Yeah, drag down from Sheik, though, could be devastating. Yeah. Gotta be careful here if you are James. The wave. And Zareth coming in from James. Almost went for the Oh, oh nice. Force out the roll. Fusix wow. loses out on a 2 0. Oh, huge win for James. Fusix. Capitalizing off that first game mistake. Fusix really let that, I mean, two times right at the very tail end of game number one with the too early stall to lose to the timer. And then in game number two, such a crazy lead that got wiped out in a blink of an eye. Beautiful Z drop to set up that whole scenario with the fair. And then from there, that's all she wrote. And this was great, right? Force here, you think you're going yep. for the Trump? Nope, I'm going for the read, in fact. Waiting for you to get back on that stage. Beautifully played, well thought out right there. That was wonderful from Jabes. Held it down and a very deserved victory over Fusix. I feel like that was also like the first time we saw something like that because there was times where he was trying to go for the ledge jump and yep. was trying to commit to like the back air ledge jump. But in a situation like that where it would have killed, huge there. That was a very good awareness from Jabes. Got me. Honestly, thought he was going to go for the back air there too and long, was able to get, call out the roll. Long term game planning right there, especially if you're thinking like if your opponent's thinking, oh my goodness. Could it end with this Trump? They're immediately just thinking, I got to get back to the stage, get back to the stage. So he called out that air dodge and, and followed him perfectly, and boom, just knocked him out the park. So well done to everybody on this block.